Hey everyone, it's Melissa. Today I'm going to talk about a little bit different kind of video. I'm going to talk about um, some expansion that we're going to be doing to the closet. It is a departure from my usual video, but you know, there's just so many makeup or skincare or uh, hair videos I can do. So, you know, I like other, I like to talk about other things too. So I thought I would talk about this. Um, as some of you might know, we live in, Doug and I live in a very old house. It was built in 1886. And when they built houses back then, they didn't put closets in, like in the bedrooms or anything like that. They would use chiffon robes or wardrobes and hang their clothes in that. Uh, so when we bought the house, there were two closets. There was one in this room, and I keep that room right back there, and I keep, um, our Christmas decorations in there and then in my, my daughter's room there's leftover stuff from the kids and we keep some leftover clothes in there and it's they're both small closets so uh, we the where the house ended we added on an extra room in the back to make that our closet but over time you know we accumulated more stuff or it we just realized that one one main closet just wasn't enough. Uh, we've got suitcases in there. We've got, uh, you know, knickknacks that we're not using. We've got just everything is piled in there as much as it can be. And the clothes are just jammed in there. And, and, I, and I go through clothes regularly and, you know, get, you know, donate things. But it's still, everything is just so jam-packed in there. There is a room where the house used to end. And, and all this is, if you watch my Insta stories, I know this is a repeat, but I did want to do a video on it and follow up later. Uh, there is a room in the back of the house that we call Annie's room. Now, Annie was a servant that served to the family back in the 1800s, and her room was at right above the kitchen, and she had, we have a staircase that goes down, it's like a, not a secret staircase, but a kitchen staircase. So she would go down there and fix meals for the family and come back up and go back up to her room. And we called it Annie's room. Well, uh, when we bought the house, the room had been shut up for years and everything was still original in there from when she lived here. So uh, we took down the wood that was in there and it was that old painted blue, I think they called it milk paint back then. And uh, so it was painted that and it had faded and got worn and, you know, it was just beautiful. So we took it all down and replaced it with some other old wood that was in better condition. And we, we had out in the hall, outside of Annie's room, we had a little closet put in uh, for towels and things like that. And we put, used some of the wood as the closet door. But we stored the rest of it in the back, uh, all covered up. So in Annie's room, when we redid it, at first I had like my computer in there. It was called the computer room. And we cleaned that out uh, when we went to laptops. And so it became, uh, we put two beds. There's eaves that come way down. The, the, the roof is sloping, which I will show you. So we put two, two little twin ba beds on each side of it. And uh, then, you know, we never did use them because we have other places for people to sleep. So what we have decided to do, what I asked Doug to do, I said, Doug, could this be my Christmas present? Can I have some shelves put in? Can I take that wood, the blue milk, uh, milk paint wood, and is it okay if for my Christmas present, we, have, we built some shelves and some drawers and then, you know, some places that where we can close things and put the iron and, you know, things like that. Just kind of expand it. I would like places to put my, um, you know, my sweaters, to put shoes, to put purses, um, you know, that type of things. Some drawers to fold t-shirts and put in. Um, you know, we don't have a bedroom in our closet. Everything has to go in there. So... Yeah, he said that, yeah, that, he thought that would be a nice idea. So I thought I would go ahead and talk about it and show you the before and kind of explain where things are going to go. And then later on in a few months when we do it, uh, that I will show the after. I'm very, very excited about it. And I kind of wanted to go through and show the whole process. 
So um, what I'm going to do is get off here now and take the camera in there and show it to you. And I'll go ahead and sign off and say thank you so much for watching. The next video, I think I'm going to be talking about the YSL All Hours Foundation. It's, uh, it's got a controversial ingredient in it. I have been using it and I have some opinions on it on my skin, which is a mature skin and how I feel about it. So I will do that in my next video. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in a few days. Bye bye. Okay, this is what the wood looks like. This is a little closet that we did outside in outside of our bedroom or the other bedrooms. And you can see, you know, the milk paint and where it's faded and stuff like that, which I love. You know, it's the original wood that was built, put in the house in the 1800s, and they painted it with that paint they used to use. So that's what it looks like. And so I'm going to take you into Annie's room now. Okay, so this was Annie's room. And as you can see, you know, it originally had that blue, painted blue stuff, and it was just dirty and everything. We really cleaned it all up and, and then found this wood and put up in it. So um, we've taken pretty much everything out. We've, you know, still got to few things in there. I've got some some jewelry stuff there and some uh, shelves where some of the, the grandkids keep some of their books and my some of my knitting stuff and baskets in the corner. But it sort of gives you an idea of the shape of the room. Let me go back over here. Okay with the staircase and the staircase as you can see that's the kitchen staircase that I will I don't want to redo because I love the worn steps that that she went down and then there's more of that wood painted like that so you know I just I think that's really special okay so over here we're going to in the shape of this edge right here we're going to just put some shelves okay and this area going across here underneath the eaves all the way across here we're going to put some shelves and some drawers that come out that I can put like t-shirts in and stuff okay and then in this right here it's going to go all the way up to about right here and it's going to be shelves you can see I've got my steamer right here it's going to be shelves with doors made out of the uh, the wood, you know, Annie's wood that can open and close and that way I can store my, my steamer, my iron, things like that that I want to store. And, uh, you know, and also I can be able to hide my knitting stuff too because it's just, it's just all over here right now. And at the top up here, you know, up above there, he's going to have a big shelf or two that I can put on my baskets. I, I collect a lot of baskets. Oh, not a lot, but I cook. I, I, ha, I do have some baskets that I like to keep and put things in, and so that'll be a good place to put it up there. But um, yeah, I think I'm going to have nice, you know, some more nice shelves back there. Is the the closet that we had built on because the house used to end right there with Annie's room. So that's what it looks like before. And then, you know, I'll come back with an update. I'll post a little bit of this video when it's done or update as we're doing it. So I'm very excited about it and I'm excited to take you all on this um, expansion journey with me. Um, everybody have a wonderful day. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.